Hi, I'm Gail Hoag, and I'm here today with Gregory. And he has been working hard on a new slideshow, and we're excited about sharing that with you. It's called The Sacred Geometric Keys to Accessing Your Multidimensional Body. So here's Gregory. This is going to be fun because um, Gail hasn't seen it before. And so what I really want you to do is ask questions, break in, share information, and the same for you out there. That means send us your questions, perhaps in the comments underneath this, and we will answer them in the next slideshow that we do. So what I want to share with you today is all about the keys to accessing your multi-dimensional body. And what we're going to start with is really asking that deep question of, you know, who are you? And you perhaps can uh, go over that. You've done it before where you've said, who am I and what am I doing here? But I found that when I've asked people that question, those questions, what's happened is they've gone into this sense of who they are as far as a man or a woman, an adult, a child, what kind of work they do, kind of their place in the world, what the reality is that they're in right now. And that's what we want to get past in order to expand into a multi-dimensional understanding. So what we're really going to be working with today is beginning with the question, what am I? And so what we're first going to bring in is this wonderful equation that we're all familiar with. We may not totally understand what it means, but we understand that this incredible genius, Albert Einstein, put together something that says E equals MC squared, where E is energy. So what he's saying is that everything can be equal to energy. And the way you find out how much energy really is there, you take M for mass, which is equal to anything you've got that you can see, touch, and feel in this world around you. you. Can take the mass of the chair that you're sitting on. And then when you multiply that times the speed of light, which is squared, which means the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second, and there are more um, accurate measures coming in today where it's being said that the speed of light is actually up over 600,000 miles per second. But however you slice or dice it, it's fast. And when you multiply it times itself, it gets even bigger. And when you multiply that number times mass, you get an incredible amount of energy. I'm going to stop you there because I just had a, an interesting thought about how the equation of understanding energy incorporates light, the speed of light, the quality of light, and not only at what we know as its actual speed, but times itself squared. So it highlights to me the importance of recognizing our relationship to light in order to have a body, in order to have a light, a life, that light, the photons, are absolutely critical to understanding that. Really, um, I agree. And I think what Einstein was also using is this constant light, um, the photon. We 
consider that to really be the beginning of all matter. That is the seed element from which everything springs. And we can talk about that in future um, slideshows and talks where there's a geometry to the photon and it's a fractal geometry that expands into everything that we see in this existence. But back to our original um, concept is that we're talking about just the incredible amount of energy that exists in this universe, in this dimension. And as a matter of fact, another way of uh, referencing that is what's said right here, which is that all material things are made up of atoms, and the atoms are made up of subatomic particles. So protons, neutrons, electrons. And when you look at the amount of mass in an atom, you'll find that 99 point, and this is 0.95 times, 0.99999% of what we call physical matter is pure energy. That means that only 0.00001% is actual physical matter. So this is saying the same thing in a different way. So this is something, as it says here, to really think about that every physical thing in our life is not really solid matter at all. All that you try to touch and feel and stub your toe on it's really fields of energy, frequency patterns of information. So matter is more nothing, pure energy, than something, particles. And our physical bodies and the body of the physical universe are as proportionately empty as is all of space. So again, the essential nature of our material bodies and that of the solid appearing universe is that they are both non-material. They are made up of non-stuff. We are almost entirely energy frequency patterns, interference patterns that show up in this third dimension as something that we relate to as physical. So, the vast majority of all the matter that we see in this universe is a tremendously large amount of energetic space. And yet, there's more, and that is what science is looking at, is that all the matter and energy that we can account for in this universe, everything we do see, that 0.00001%, still, that's only 5% of what we know to exist. So the question is, where is that other 95% of our reality? You see, it moves from the higher dimensions and these unknown realms are referred to as dark matter and dark energy. That's 95% of what exists is what we can't see. It's a dark matter, dark energy universe. Science knows that there's something out there affecting the way that planets are moving, universes, galaxies, and they have to account for that by a matter that they can't see, that they can't measure directly, but they see its effects. Just as they see the effects of more energy coming into this universe, if it all was constant from the time of the Big Bang, 
that would mean that the universe would be slowing down, that it would be getting uh, less expansive. There would be uh, a less of an expansion. And what instead is happening is the universe is expanding at a more rapid rate. So there is more energy coming in through the places where we see energy leaving the universe through what we call a black hole. On the flip side of the black hole, there is energy coming in, which might be thought of as a white hole. So as it says at the bottom of this slide, this almost infinite flow of energy is coherent, it's conscious, and it proceeds that small distillate we call physical matter, which is our reality.